Well, last night, we told you about schools using helmets that were rated low by Virginia Tech and Wake Forest University's helmet rating system. We asked 230 local high schools to tell us what type of helmets they used and found 25 were using zero, one, and two star helmets. Tonight, our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, gets reaction and action. We received responses from some of the 25 schools that had the low rated helmets. Cleveland Schools tells us that they're taking their low rated helmets out of circulation. Howland High School just ordered 26 new Zenith helmets to replace the low rated ones and committed to not putting their athletes into the one and two star rated helmets. Instead, they'll use them as trophies. LeBray High School will be replacing the two helmets they had below the four star rating, but some schools were non committal. Campbell Memorial has 13 of the zero star Adams A2000, 28 of the one star right LVSR4, and one two star shut air advantage. The superintendent told us safety is their number one concern and they appreciated the data we shared, but they didn't indicate what they would do with their helmets. Sandy Valley High has 24 two star shut air advantage and said the helmets they use serve their purpose and they've had very few concussions. Obviously, if they find the helmets they use are no longer safe, they would replace them. Go to WKYC.com slash helmets to see the rest of the responses. Meanwhile, we wanted to know what a pro thought of our investigation, and we found one who knows a thing or two about concussions. Josh Cribbs knows a thing or two about taking a hard hit to the head. He was knocked out after this one. For me, getting hit like that was an eye opener. You know, my parents didn't want me to play anymore. My wife was you know, in tears. It struck me. I'm like, wow, you know, this, foot, this sport that I once loved could actually, you know, take my life. It wasn't the first concussion he'd endured, but we wanted his opinion on our investigation. We showed him the Virginia Tech Wake Forest University helmet rating system. I'm surprised. You know, I've uh, wore a Rodell helmet, you know, all the way up from rec ball all the way up to the NFL. And, you know, I'm surprised at the list, looking at the different variances of the helmet. You know, I'm like, wow, I should have been wearing a better helmet. You know, I might have you know, some more brain cells in my head. He's referring to the Rydell VSR4. It received a low one star rating, and Rydell itself urged NFL players to stop wearing it in 2011. But that helmet is still in use on some high school football fields. Cribs hopes our investigation opens the eyes of athletic directors and parents. Personally, you know, the, looking at the high school level, look, even under that, you want the, the kids protected. You know, at that level, you know, them being uh, underskilled and how to properly tackle, you know, uh, they need assistance. And some way they get that assistance is through wearing pr the better helmets. He also says funding shouldn't be an issue because some of the lower rated helmets are actually more expensive than higher rated ones. Going through the sport myself, you know, I would want my son protected. You know, any father, any parent would want their children protected to the max. Now, it's important to remember no helmet can prevent a concussion, but the Virginia Tech Wake Forest University helmet rating system, which has been done independently since 2011, found that some helmets are better at lowering the risk of concussion. Now, all the helmets in the study are NOXI approved, and NOXI, the National Operating Committee on Standards for Athletic Equipment, disputes Virginia Tech's findings. To learn what helmet your high school is using, go to WKYC.com.